I'm a pretty bitch feeling like Beyonce. Hey y'all, it's Jayla aka Jay Chanelli on the internet. Welcome back slash welcome to my channel if this is your first time here. I just know that I wanted to do my makeup and turn on the camera. So whatever this ends up being about, it's probably in the title. So you probably already know if you want to get into the makeup look, go ahead and keep on watching. Remember to hit that subscribe button and join all 17,000 of us over here. Okay, we lit. Hit that subscribe button. I'll set that notification bell so you know anytime I'm posting a new video. All right, y'all, let's go ahead and get into this makeup look. Um, I don't know what we're going to talk about, but we're going to talk about something. And this time I'm going to tell y'all exactly the products I'm using, like an old school YouTube tutorial. Okay, so right now I'm using the Fenty regular primer, like the first primer they came out with. That's what I'm using on my face. Don't know why it's going on like with a sunscreen cast. That was really weird, but that's what I'm using. Now I'm going in with the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation in the color Bahia. Somebody tweeted the other day and was like, do the girls still use NARS? And we was like, uh, yes, it's us, we the girls. Like NARS has forever been that girl. That was weird, a weird tweet. But anyways, yeah, I'm going in with this concealer foundation. And I already have a review of this foundation. I'll go ahead and leave it linked up in the cards. But this is like the closest color match they have for my skin tone. I would love for them to make it in other formulations, NARS. Thank you so much. I've said that like 10 times. All right, y'all. So now I'm going in with my e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer in the color Medium Beige. And I'm going to hit all the spots, okay? Again, I was going for a glam look, so I was not, I was not spare, sparse. I was not sparse with the concealer. I'm looking for the words. I'm looking for the words and then I'm finding them and then I'm using them, okay? So I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that out with this beauty blender that I've had for way too long. I probably need a new one, but not right now because funds is, I mean, funds are funds, but I just am not in the mood to buy a $20 sponge right now. Do you feel me? I'm kind of rambling. I'm just kind of watching this video and talking as I see fit. If you don't like this type of video, please let me know in the comment section below. But I'm kind of I'm kind of vibing right now. You know, it's it's vibes. So I'm going ahead and blending this out. It this really does take me a long time because I really try to make sure that everything's completely blended out and that there are no harsh lines. I like to diffuse that. I need to go in and like shave my mustache because I'll be having to put way too much concealer down there when I could just go in and shave it. So be on the lookout for a maintenance vlog coming soon in which I get rid of my mustache hairs because they really have been killing the vibe. Um, yeah. Blending, talking. I don't know what I was talking about in this actual clip, but I don't think it was that important, which is why I'm talking over it. I mean, what I'm saying right now is not like super important either, but I think it's more important than what I was saying there. So how are y'all? <laughs> How are y'all doing? How are y'all watching YouTube these days? Like, do y'all even be watching these types of videos anymore? Like traditional makeup tutorials where someone's literally just doing their makeup on screen and it's a voiceover? Like this would have been a hit that stuck like grits back in the day, okay? Like a 2016 girl would have ate this up. But like, how y'all feel about this kind of video in 2021? Let me know. All right, y'all, I'm going with this new product. This is a Nemei Beauty Blush, and this is in the color Bells. This is clearly my first time using a cream blush, and I was very surprised at how pigmented it is. So that is what my face was saying. And now I'm just going in on my cheeks, and I'm going to apply as much as I see fit, and then we're gonna go ahead and blend it out. Yeah, it was very pigmented, y'all. I was just like, I've never, ever, dealt with a blush that was this pigmented before we love to see it i definitely will be using these blushes more often and because i use a cream blush i kind of switched up my makeup routine so i usually go ahead and set my concealer right after i blend it out but we're using cream products so i went ahead and put on all my cream products first so we did the concealer then we're going to do the cream blush then we're going to do a cream highlighter and then we're going to set everything just so y'all know we do all the creams and then all the powders okay okay glad we had that talk 
She's blunt, honey. She looks very good. Now I'm going in with that cream highlighter. This one is from Merit Beauty. I did a chit chat get ready with me where I used this highlighter for the very first time and I've loved it ever since. However, I do realize or I did realize that if you try to use that highlighter with a powder, it's going to pick up the powder. So you got to go in with all your creams and then all of your powders. Now I'm going in and setting my face or setting my concealed areas with my setting powder, go-to setting powder. By the way, if you're wondering what products that I'm using, cause I stopped saying, no, I didn't stop saying them. Right now I'm using the minted setting powder in the color light to tan. There you go. But all of these products will be listed in the description box below. Um, right now I'm setting my blush with the minted blush and pinky promise. And then I'm going in with this bronzer from Fenty. This is in the color Caramel Cutie. Okay, like I was saying before I really interrupted myself, all of these products will be listed in the description box below as well as affiliate links where you can purchase the product. If you choose to purchase from that link, I will make a low point. Okay, I'm going to make a low commission and I wouldn't mind it. So, you know, do as you see fit in your heart to do, but you could go ahead and just use that link in the description box and help a sister out. I would greatly appreciate okay okay thank you in advance um, right now I'm going in and setting my highlight with the Fenty diamond bomb and royal icing I think and now I'm just going in with this brush there's no product on this but I'm just going in and trying to blend any harsh lines that may be present on my face we're doing great y'all we're doing great by the way I forgot to tell y'all that this look is inspired by a picture of Beyonce that she posted recently she was wearing a pink soft glam look and I was like love it gotta have it so that is what I'm doing right now we set with Mac fix plus we're going in with the Neme beauty eyebrow pencil in the color dark brown we did I do my brows really I really didn't do much to be quite honest with y'all I'm not a brow girl anymore those days are over but yeah, y'all, inspired by Beyonce, I posted a Reels about this on Instagram. So go ahead and check out that Reels. Now I'm going in with this Minted Every Night eyeshadow palette. And I'm going in with that neutral brown. It's on the cooler side, actually. I'm going in with that in my crease. And then I'm going in with the chocolate brown in my crease. And then I'm going in with the pink shimmer. I forgot what it's called. I'm not about to look at a palette, sorry. But I'm going in with the pink shimmer and putting that on my like my inner V and then I'm going to take this palette um oh and then I went in with like the silver shimmer and put that in the inner corner and then I'm going to take this little eyeshadow palette from Revlon and I'm basically going to use my finger to pat in that pink eyeshadow and again I'll link all these in the description box because I don't remember the names and I'm not going to get up and get the palettes so sorry about it but yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. And this came out really, really nice. Um, I didn't get exactly the look that Beyonce had, but you know it's a little shine, shine. Not too shabby. So yeah. And then I'm going back into the minted palette to really, really, really make the inner corner pop. Pop, 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 pop. I think that one is called Chicago. If I'm not mistaken, the shadow I'm using right now is called Chicago. Oh, and then I'm going to start taking all these shadows down to my bottom lid. Um, I don't really recommend this. Beyonce had a shimmer on her bottom, so that's why I did it. But it don't really do anything for me when I put a shimmer on the bottom. Right now, I'm lining my lips with the minted lip pencil in the color Bear. And then I went on the outside and did like a double line situation with a darker brown. That darker brown is literally from like the beauty supply store or CVS. One of those two. It's not really like a name brand situation. So, you know, figure it out yourself. And then I'm going in with Fussy, the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm. And that is the look. Bye. Y'all, this is the makeup look. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Do you think it's giving Beyonce? Say yes, please. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, like this video so YouTube can share with other people. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.